Good morning all, just here with our weekly update um, ahead of an exciting Wink Stakes Day, uh, first group one of the season, and got a pretty pretty large hand in it and a pretty strong hand in it. Shame about a few of the draws, but we'll <coughs> whistle on through um, all of those and Chris will give you his insight. So, <coughs> kicking off proceedings in race three, Kirkaby, National Willow Barrier three. Big weight, Charlie, but... Um... Good draw, as you said. It's going well, it's going to be hard to beat. Racing terrific. Senior over and apprentice, thoughts there? Uh, one of the best in the world. No disrespect to the apprentices, but three kilos is a benefit, but when you're racing against the best jockeys in the world, is it? Okay. Uh, you <coughs> also have Fonga Hoot and Barrier 2. Um, he's he's lift, sneaking, he does, he's sneaking down the weights all the time. That's going to give him a slightly better chance, but uh, he's a fit horse, and as you said, needs to lift. Okay, race four, Ivan's Hero, Barrier 5. Good win last start, nice ride from James, um, was a big help. Soft draw here is a big plus. Um, I'd like to see the track get back to a six to have a bit more confidence on him. Okay, and for victory, Barrier 7. Flashing light on his head mm. last start. Mm. Any good? Yeah, I think I think he's he's certainly better than average. He's obviously still only a young horse. He's only three Northern Hemisphere, so um, whatever we see. Old this enough to win on Saturday. Correct. Good. Race five, Kalino fifty-three, <coughs> Barry eight. Come back in terrific order. This horse. Um, yeah, draw makes it a little bit tricky, but she's well and ready to run a big race. And highly spoken about, extremely lucky. Yeah, he's good to go. Uh, withdrawn from last week. Yep. But um, galloped well through the week. Scoped clean. And um, I don't think the draw will be any problem to him. He's a horse that just tends to just drift back a little bit. Blend in. Tack the line strong. And Tough starting point, isn't it? Yep. Race six of the Premier's Cup Desert Icon. Barrier nine. Yeah, fresh up, 2,000 metres, come down from the Queensland stable and looks in great shape. Uh, it runs well fresh. Okay, Bonnie Ezra, very seven. He'll appreciate a bit of rain and the soft, likely soft track. A little bit plain last start, but um, 2,000 metres, soft track will suit. Ian Fortune, who had a nice tick over trial, slowly finding some form, much better run last start. And Borna King, third up from the break. Mm. What's he draw? 12. Tricky draw. Um, just needs a, yeah, just needs a bit of luck and just needs to get his mojo back. Okay, race seven. Zoo gotcha. Tricky draw. Who have opted for this race because I want to see how well she can sprint. She's won a group one mile race. <coughs> and being impressive and... 14s and 1500s, but she missed her fresh up run last prep. We never got a chance to see if she sprints, so we will on Saturday. She'll need to be good with that big weight and from that draw, because we'll most likely ride it back. But look out when she starts to top the riser round. Okay, okay. Uh, race 8, the Wink Stakes, Francesco Gardi, Barrier 6. All Leading towards the Melbourne Cup, he's come back really well. He is a bit bigger in condition, but he'll run a cheeky race. You'll be talking about him on Sunday morning. He's definitely a two-miler. I'm not sure. He'll be. He'll. He'll. Um, he might be favourite of the Melbourne Cup after he wins the Caulfield Cup. Okay, okay. We'll leave it there. Osipenko, Barrier Seventeen. Um. Tricky gate, good colt, um, can't do much about draws, just needs a touch of luck. I think when he ran third in the Caulfield Guineas, he drew the outside, yeah. blended, drifted back, blended in and finished off strong. Um, Lenderman, he's come back well. Huey aboard, yeah. Barry 18. Yep, yep, yep. And draw makes it tricky. Barry. He had bad draws all prep last time. Group one winner, second in the round with the right hand side. He'll roll forward. So yeah. barriers shouldn't be too much of a concern, should it? Not really. 
Okay, Montefilia, new addition to the stable. Yeah. She seems to be going well. Yeah, she's been well looked after all her career. David Payne's done a fantastic job with her and she's blended in well. Um, our track riders suggest she's got a bit of speed and hence the reason why she's resuming over 1400. David used to resume her over a mile. Um, so we'll give her a chance to sprint, see where she fits in. Obviously the draw makes it a little bit tricky. Fangirl, very 11. Wet track gone against her a bit? Yeah, touch. If it gets back to a soft six, I wouldn't be worried at all. Um, not too concerned about the draw. She's a settle early, build momentum, finish strong horse. And she's come back a treat. Okay, going global, Barry 13. Had a nice little gallop yesterday. Yeah, she's the just races. slowly winning her over, aren't we? Slowly. Having a, she's a very free sweating horse, which concerns me a little. First up, you don't want them to have a, a tough run, but at the same time, they need to be competitive. So I'd say she'll run. Um, post work yesterday, she was fantastic, wasn't she? Yes, she was. Very good. So she's getting there. If not, she'll wait two weeks. Princess Grace, barrier one, B Preble. I like her because of the draw and the way Serious she's been chance. trialing. Yeah. Um, there hasn't been any negatives about her yeah. at all. She's fine. She was impressive, albeit in easier races in the autumn, but she's had the benefit of having that time here in Australia. So um, I think she's a cheeky chance. I think she's a massive shot. Massive shot. And finally, but certainly not least, hinged barrier five. Comes right into it. Soft track, good draw. She missed draws all prep last time. Did it tough against the best. And um, she gets a few things in her favour on Saturday for the first time for a long time. So she won't be far away. Okay, and race nine, the Silver Shadow, Lozago re returns. Mm, tricky draw, makes it hard. I um, guess you just got to go back, find some cover and finish off. Well weighted though, isn't she? Okay. Okay, okay. weighted. Yeah. <clears throat> What's she got? 57. Yeah. What's the minimum? 55. Mm. And a lot of horses raised in the 60s. Mm. Fair enough. Right, eh? Well, best of luck, folks. What's your best? Uh, Through Charlie's eyes. For victory. Oh, there you go. For victory. You Courtney Vandiver, very happy this morning. Doing finishing touches on him. Right. And um, yeah, I think he's ready to rock and roll and hopefully set up for a big day on Saturday because it should be huge.